Hello everyone, this is Mason from Pinax. Today we'll learn about substreams and how you can visualize them in a simple web app. So what are substreams? Substreams actually what will power and feed data in real time to our application. So the blockchain has huge amount of data coming in real time. And what substream does, it kind of filters it down and reduces it to the amount and to the data that actually matters to you. I chose to use that data to visualize it in a fun and interesting way. Let's look at that demo and afterwards I'll break down how you can use that raw data for your use. All right, so in the Pinax Network GitHub repo, you can find my project Substream Stream app. If we go down, you, we have a basic uh, readme that shows you the setup process to get it working. Everything is there. So it's pretty simple to just get the project started and then afterwards to contribute by adding your own ideas or visualization project that you want to build on top of it. You can also filter by chain. So let's say you want you don't want to see Tether on each side, you can filter them out uh, so they can become grayed out and you can bring them back in easily. So now let's jump into some code so I can break down how I use the data coming from the substreams to achieve this tree map and how you can use it to make your own projects or even contribute to this project that I just showed. So now we're inside the project. This is where we call the substream and we extract the data and then we process the data. Most of the technical stuff has been simplified by using different uh, libraries accessible all from the Pinex network GitHub repo. To get the substream running, you mostly just have to call those libraries, but we need a block emitter to take the blocks in. So we have a block emitter and we'll first get ourselves two um, event listeners, one for the session and one for every block that comes in. So now that we have an event listener listening for all the incoming messages, the raw data from the substreams, we can now process these messages and extract what we need, which in my case was the balance changes. Now we will use React use state to update our real-time data. So this is our balances. And for each balance change that we, we get, this is the information that I need, which is the owner, the contract, and their new balance. Now we just add some conditions, so uh, limited to certain contracts. So let's say in our case, it was like Chainlink, Uniswap, and all that. We initialize it if uh, the array is empty. And I also added a layer to filter it by chain, like Ethereum and Polygon. And then you just update the new balance. Once your new balance is updated, you just return it. And as good measure, you can set that you receive some data. And of course you need to start the emitter at the end so that everything starts running. So it's as simple as that. Now you have data from the substream and you can call the function that fishes that data on the manifest, which is package that contains the requirements for that specific substream. In our case, the balance changes. You can find other examples of substreams in the contribution part of the GitHub repo, which will bring you to Examples of other substreams they have, like Ethereum Blockstat, Ethereum Blobs, ERC20 transfers, tokens to CSV, and so on. Then, with the data you just fetched, you just need to transform it into a form that the visualization method you use needs. Like in our case, it's hierarchical data since I'm using a tree map. So you can go on pnax.network and click on Start Building Now, they will give you access to free tier API key that you can use to start building on your own. So for the visualization, I used d3.js, which is a popular library to showcase data in interesting ways. Uh, they have a lot of visualization tools at your disposal. And once the data is formatted to the tool you want to use, it's pretty much plug and play. Like you see, I used a tree map. But in your case, depending on your needs and what you want to achieve with your application, you can use whatever tool you want. For example, since I use a tree map, I need hierarchical data, which is the three nodes and the three leaves. And same goes for my balance changes. So you just structure the code as you need it, and then you pretty much use the tree JS for the rest. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you understood a bit more about substrings and how to visualize them. Don't be shy in any shape or form to contribute to the GitHub repo. 
and enjoy exploring the power of substreams.